guys pretty exciting day i finally got my motor back today motor and heads uh, they went through the motor uh all overall uh needed main bearings for sure got new main bearings new crank mm, new rod bearings new cam bearings all bearings were replaced guys but the ones that really went bad were main bearings uh some metal chunks went into them or whatever and ate them up so those got all checked out changed or whatever and uh put back together i guess so uh yeah i got the motor back it, it's in a short block i guess uh sadly i don't have lifters on me right now but uh, i'll get them tomorrow and uh i don't think i'm gonna record too much just slap it all together these are my heads that's the motor guys these are the ls3s they're aftermarket ls3s because they got a freeze plug i didn't even know that until uh the head guy told me joel shout out him for going through the heads checking them out making sure my springs are still good and uh just the surface clean and getting me right and uh shout out to the rms guys this is my old motor from this truck guys uh i didn't go with new pistons or anything i reused the pistons since they were uh good uh we did fly cut the pistons guys due to the bigger cam choice that i went with and that's about it so yeah hopefully i get this put together pretty soon and here are the other parts that belong to the motor, I guess. Oil pan, windage tray, pickup tubes, uh, couple of covers. So, so yeah, that's that. And right now I'm gonna go get some parts and start working on it. It's a little hot and humid. I'm fat, leave me alone. My brother's yeah. over there. Uh, I didn't record much on it, guys. Uh, I didn't record much on it guys, but uh, here it is. It's a long block at the moment. It no longer is a short block. I put the heads on, the open, front cover. Still need to put the back cover, but I'll do that once I get it on the hoist. But uh, yeah, she's coming along guys. Pretty soon she's gonna be in that truck, hopefully tomorrow, and we get it done. About halfway in, gotta go in slowly since uh, the harness did get worked on, it's not like factory length anymore. Uh, just gotta watch out for any plugs, but yeah. As the trucks, one. Two, three. As y'all can tell by the video, guys, she turned on. Check out the oil pressure. It's doing bad guys. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all and uh, for being a cheap ass, uh, shit happens. Shit happens guys. I didn't replace the front seal on the crank pulley and it's leaking oil. So now nah, guess who has to work twice for not doing it the first time? I do. So she does turn on, she she drives. Uh she needs a tune badly, but uh kind of sweep the dirt off the way, out of the way. And uh I gotta clean up because obviously there's a mess everywhere. But uh yeah. Uh 
learn from my mistakes guys don't cheap out spend the money do it right the first time and you won't regret it <sighs> guys it's the next day like I said I gotta fix my own problems and uh, uh, I'm gonna try to do the least work as possible because I already gasket maker the whole timing cover I don't want to take it all off so I'm gonna just take off the belt and the pulley and the electric fans and hopefully I can take off that pulley and take off the the gasket thing from there and then put it back on so let me get to that all right pulley's up that's the seal that was no way now can't tell I don't know but that has to come out so I'll Bit. And yeah, let your friends are out, pulleys out, some tools, and let me get to it. Guys, that's the new one. There's the old one. It's out. I'm guessing it's leaking just because it's toasted. It like it's no longer doing its job, guys. You see that? I don't go back to its place. So, hopefully the new one fixes it. Cause it was leaking pretty bad. I don't know if y'all can hear me guys, but I'm here at the HBF Horsepower Factory and uh, getting the truck, truck dyno tune, see what it makes. There goes Frank. Already did one pull, guys. Uh, I should have video on it. Exhaust melted one of the straps so it came off. So we're gonna try that pull again.
guys, this is gonna be it for today or this video. Uh, back home, Gero just left not that long ago. My brother Valentino, he was on that was recording. Appreciate him taking on the ride and recording our little run. Not the best, but hey, something's better than nothing. Hello. A little fun run, like my brother said. So yeah, there's the truck. It's a pretty good matchup, guys. Um, honestly, it couldn't gone any better. Honestly, uh, me and Gabriel have almost identical s setups. I have a 6.2, he has a 6.2. I have a slightly bigger cam, and I have CNC ported heads, and. He has a 6.2 LS3 top end, same injector, same injectors, 480. I believe we have the same torque converter size. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't remember. But uh, I'm on an open diff, he's on a posi, stock tires. I'm on a radio, one legger. So, I mean, it, it, they did pretty good, guys, honestly. I'm, I'm impressed with how they ran. They're pretty close, honestly. And uh, uh, maybe we can get some runs in later again or or against other people who knows uh fernando if you're watching this watch it to the end of the video get your truck running so me and gabriel can gap you it's already on here we're gonna gap you and if i don't gap you because i might sell my truck gabriel will gap you it's a nice nah, plan i don't know but uh Fernando, come on, get your truck running right so we can run them. Uh, you did call us out, so let's set that up. So, like I said, guys, that's gonna be it. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Peace.